good evening students so today our topic is a post correspondence problem in turing machine so uh, the pcp a post correspondence problem is used to prove a particular problem and its strings to be undecidable or not so maximum pcp only work with the strings so the main goal of the pcp to prove a particular problem or a specific problem and its strings to be decidable or undecidable so so what is undecidable so undecidable is nothing but without any algorithm without any working model it give yes or no answer to all type of input that mean without any procedures without any algorithm it always working for all type of inputs finally it give one answer yes or no maybe accept or not accept uh, can be defined or not defined so this is known as undecidable problems so there is a no algorithm there is uh, no timing measure for particular problem solvable or not solvable we can't to uh, find the time complexity space complexity etc so everything is undecidable that is known as undecidable problems so example is halting problem in turing machine so the pcp maximum used in undecidable problems and its input strings the next one the definitions of post correspondence problem so here we using two type of list the name of a and the name of b the post correspondence problem consist of two list of strings that are equal length over the input two strings the name of a and the b with equal input length n so the given input list is non empty set of integers so there exists a non empty set of integers with a subset of i1 i2 i3 up to in so such that we equal the two strings by using the sub instance w1 w2 w3 wn this is a sub instance of the list a at the same time x1 x2 x3 xn present in b to solve post correspondent problems we try all the combinations of i1 i2 in to find the w1 equal to x1 then we set the pcp as a solution here we check the equalness of the strings that are present in the list we follow the same order if we get the equal strings from list a and list b me we have a solution now we go to see the simple example example number 1 here the set of strings a and b are given so the consider the correspondence system is given below a and b so the input is 0 and 1 we want to find the solution we want to find the solution so here i take the instant sequence 2 1 1 3 the combination is 2 1 1 3 here apply the same sequence for the list a and the list b so the w2 w1 w3 or point to the list a so the w2 w1 w1 w3 point to list a x2 x1 x1 x3 point from b okay so w2 mean second strings b a b power q w1 mean my first first string b again the w1 is repeated so again i write the b w3 same with w3 b a in the same order we write the input symbol b a b q b b a so finally summarize the input b a b3 b3 a so that mean b a b q b q a this is the things derived from list a in list b we followed the same sequence length 2 comma 1 comma 1 comma 3 so here first to write the 
second symbol first symbol first symbol third symbol from list b so the final list of strings from list b b a b cube b cube a it is same as the first derivation so the solution is 2 comma 1 comma 1 comma 3 because when we follow the sequence we get the equal or same strings so the constructed strings from both the list is b a b cube b cube a the system have a solution so this is the a simple example for pcp the pcp is undecidable problems because we no one know about which set of string is equal which set of string is not equal we can't to find the substring sequence now see about the second example so consider we have a set of two list with the name of x and y the same input b comma a a b a b b and the y have the input b a b a a b b again you will check we want to check the two list have a solution or not okay here i take the sequence as like 1 2 1 3 3 4 so we follow the same subsequent for list x and list to y so check this table the left side of the equation take from list x the right side of the figure take from list to y we follow the same order 1 2 1 3 3 4 so one point b the two point a again one repeat b then third symbol a b a the third symbol again repeated fourth symbol b b this is from list x then go to list y my first symbol b a my second symbol also b a my first symbol b a third symbol a b third symbol a b repeated it finally ending with b so the order is same we can check b a b a b a b a b b so 3 p a a and finally ending with double b so the sequence of the string is same from list x and y when we follow the sequence subsequence 1 2 1 3 3 4 you can take any number of integers as a subsequence you can follow any order that is not a matter but if you take any sequence order when you apply for both x and y you get the same substring that is known as the system is the system have a solution now see one more example for without a solution okay the example 3 for uh, the string substrings not equal to substrings of b okay so here my input uh, derived from list a and b the list a have 3 0 the list b have 3 input so listen both list x and y and the list a b are or same length the length of 3 if list a or x have a 4 member mean the y also must have 4 member so in this example the list a contain 3 elements the same we have 3 elements we consider you take any sequence subsequence here i take 1 3 2 you can take 1 2 3 uh, 2 3 1 you can take any subsequence but at finally we want to prove two set of substrings are equal of list a and list b here i check so many of combination but i can't to make equal substrings for any subsequent set so a not equal to b you can try various combination from both the sets but there is a no unique sequence uh, we could not get such a equal sequence so hence there is a no solution for this system so one more example uh, here i simply uh, explain the concept uh, the 
input strings x and y are given the length of the list is equal to 3 so both x and y have the equal length now we go to apply the tct solution already i explained you take any number of sequence any order here i take 1 3 1 1 3 2 2 so this order first apply to the string x 100 plus 100 so 100 is my first element 1 is my third element again the 1 is repeated 100 100 the 3 1 plus 0 0 0 so you combine you want to combine all the strings you make 1 0 0 double 1 double 0 1 double 0 1 double 0 this is from the list x then next go to list y we follow the same order 1 3 1 1 3 2 2 we derive the input from the list so one value 1 the third value double 0 the one first position value 1 first position value 1 the third position have double 0 the second position have 100 plus 100 uh, finally I combine the strings and check the y list of string is equal to list x yes here the string both the strings x and y are equal that means the string or the system have a solution so finally the theorem PCP theorem is undecidable because there is a no particular algorithm that determines whether any PCP has a solution or not. You can more iterations with a different sequence order with a, with a different length of input. So the PCP is undecidable. We can't to write the algorithm for this kind of problem. Thank you students.